Greetings, it is Max of Diddly here, and today I'm here with another Visual Basic tutorial to you get A in your coursework or your exam. And today we're here with reading a record from a TXT or CSV file. So what I mean by that is, uh, you will have a file full of records in text, and each field of that record will be separated by a delimiter, like a comma, or a new line. So, last episode, we looked at how to write a record to a file. If you haven't watched it, click the eye up in the corner. I strongly recommend you watch it. And so let's get right into it. So, we have a function here, and it's called read record. And we're going to pass in a file path, which will be a string. A search term, this could be like, hey, let's look for someone with the name of Maxo Diddley, or someone with the ID of 2234. We're using it to determine what record you want to search for. Like when you're searching in a database for everyone with the name of some, of Max or the age of 45 or whatever. Uh, we have, we're going to pass in the delimiter as a string. This can be a comma in most cases, but I'm giving you the option to customize it if you like. Uh, the search term position. Now this is important. So we're going to have, we have a record made up of three fields in my example. You can have more or less if you like where we have the ID, the name, and the age. If we pass in a 1, that means our search term is an ID, and we're going to search the first field of each record. If we pass in a 2, we'll be searching the second field of each record for the search term, which would be a name in that case. Again, this gives more customization to you, the user. Or the programmer, I should say, in this case. So what goes inside? This is all the code, and let's look at it. So firstly, we do search term position minus equals 1. You might be like, Max, why are we doing this? Well, it makes the code more user-friendly. Array indexes start from 0, as opposed to 1. But it's more logical to put in 1, as opposed to a 0, to mean the first field. So I just subtract 1. It's just to make it more compatible with how arrays work. And if I were to make this a, like a release this as a library, it would just be more user friendly. If you really have a problem with this, you can simply just require the user to pass in a zero as their first record, uh, no, as their first field, and just skip this. But I like having this; makes it more readable. Then we do dim current line as string. This is going to store the current line we're reading, and essentially every time we loop through the file, we'll change it to the current line we're reading. Then we have a try and a catch. Essentially, try a bunch of codes. If something goes wrong, execute what's in here, then move on. If everything goes well and nothing crashes, just move on after the end try code when you finished. Nice and simple. And in here, we're just going to print out the error message for ease of debugging. So we're going to create a file reader, which is similar to a file writer. So we do, we're going to call it file reader as new system.io.streamreader, and then I'm going to pass in the word file path. File path is the string here, by the way. This is passed in the file path to, to create something which can read the file. Think of it like a librarian. You're asking to search a library for a particular book. Even though now they literally just type it into a computer. Back in the old days, before I was born, they'd probably have to, like, memorize where all the books were, or have some kind of book on their desk where they'd have the location for each book, or they'd manually go about and try and find it. And then we're going to do a do while loop, which is not something you're going to be too familiar with. Essentially, a do while loop uh, will just keep looping through this code while this condition is true. Do while file reader dot peak, less than symbol, greater than symbol, minus one, essentially means... Keep, re keep looping through the file until there are no lines left. Because we want to search through each record, potentially, as we are doing a linear search. So we do current line equals file reader dot read line. Set the, set the current line variable to the current line we're reading in the file. Then we do dim current record array as string. We are creating an array here. Equals split current line delimiter. Essentially... We've got our string, which will make up of a, a field, comma, field, comma, field. What we're doing here, we're telling uh, this uh, program, right, make each field or everything between the commas its own array element. 
which then allows us to easily compare the desired field of a record with our search term. Then we do if string compare, which is how we uh, essentially do if checks with strings, current record array with search term position and search term. Essentially, does the field of the record we're looking at, that's the desired search term position, match the search term? And we do is equal to zero to check that it's true. If so, we return the current line. Why? We found the record in the file. We don't need to look through the rest of the file. If not, we just go through again and repeat the process and keep looping through the file. And that's it, guys. And if we loop through the whole file, essentially exit this loop, we'll go down to here and return not found. This is a string unlike the previous one, which was a boolean because we need to actually return the record. So the user or the programmer in this case can do what they want with it. So let's test it. I'm going to do console.write line to output the string that this function returns. It's going to be read record test.txt 2234 comma and a one. So to view um, where the file will be by default, if you literally just pass in a file name and a file extension like test.txt as opposed to a folder location, go to your Visual Basic project folder. Click on the folder. Click bin. Click debug. There you go. It will be in this folder. As you can see, we have got some records here. So we're going to look for the milk record, but we're going to use the ID as the search term. So we pass in a 1 because it's the first field. And let's click Start. As you can see, it printed out the record. Let's pass in something which doesn't exist. Let's put an extra, let's put an extra number on this ID, which doesn't exist in our um, file. And it says not found. Uh, let's try... Um, let's try Pato and see what pops up. But we're going to leave it as a 1, so it should say not found. And it's not found. Now let's search the search term position to 2, which is where the name field is in a record. It returns it! So guys, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. If you want to see more Visual Basic tutorials, all Java or C Sharp, be sure to subscribe. I will be posting more. We are going to be posting more to the file handling series for Visual Basics, so definitely stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, thanks for being a great audience. I'll see you next time.